just how good is this little blue card? Well, in my opinion, and I've been using it for everything for the past eight months, it's hands down the best current account on the market. And it's not even close. I love this little thing. Now, if you have no idea what this card is or bank that I'm talking about, don't worry, this is Chase. Chase, make more of every day. It is a digital app-only bank that launched in the UK in September 21 and is actually owned by JP Morgan, one of the biggest banks in the world. And while it may be a new name to many in the UK, that's certainly not the case in the US, where they have over 56 million Americans using them. Blimey. In the UK, it's certainly rising in popularity, having hit the 1 million customer milestone just 12 months after launch. So, what do they offer? For the time being, it's actually a very simple product offering, but it just makes sense, it just works. Once you sign up to get an account, you then have access to a current account and a savings account. You can actually open 10 of each of those types of account, and they all have their own sort code and account number, so you can send money directly to or from them. This is quite nice as it can allow you to easily split your money by creating different digital money jars, essentially. But where they really stand out, with your current account, for the first 12 months, you will receive 1% cash back on all of your eligible spending. Like on this coffee? Absolutely. And it will normally just take a day or two for you to receive it, and you'll see it at the bottom of the homepage, and you can then just transfer it across to any one of your accounts. But that's not all that's great about the current account element. You can also choose to activate roundups. This means that every time you spend on your card, let's say it's ATP, Chase will round up that transaction to the nearest pound and they'll take that extra 20p in this case and put it into a little side jar that you can see in the app. And all the money that's in there will earn 5% interest. Now, 5% is a very nice amount to make on some spare change, but realistically, it would take a lot of spending to build up a large amount in that roundup pot. But a little helps. This roundup pot on the side that you're building will last one year, and at the end of that year, anything you've got in the pot will automatically be added to the main current account. Your roundups will then continue again, but obviously starting from scratch. When it comes to the savings account, this is pretty simple and standard and currently pays 2.1% interest. Now, when this account was actually first launched, it was offering 1.5% interest, which was actually the best interest rate in the entire market. However, despite Chase increasing this interest to 2.1, it's unfortunately no longer top of the table. Now, that doesn't mean Chase by any means is bad. That 1% cashback is still very, very useful, especially with the cost of living crisis at the moment. It just means you might be able to make more money on your savings specifically, holding those somewhere else. You can put as little as you like into the savings account, all the way up to a total of £250,000, and that's across all of the savings accounts you've opened. Remember, you can have a maximum of 10 of them. The account is not locked, it's not time bound, you don't need to keep the money in there for six months or a year or anything like that. You can take the money out whenever you want and instantly move it across to your current account for example, and you don't need to contribute on a regular basis like every month or anything like that. The app also allows you to set goals for your savings, so you can have different goals for each of your different savings accounts. So you might have, say, one for a rainy day, you might have one for holidays, and then they can each have their own goal associated with that account. And the last thing to mention is that that 2.1% interest is calculated every single day and paid into your account at the start of the following month. Of course, a few days after signing up, you'll receive one of these little blue cards in the post. Now, what I really like about this is it actually has none of your bank details on it whatsoever. All your card details are stored in the Chase Banking app, so no one else can see them. It has your name on the front and that's it. It doesn't have your card number, it doesn't have your expiry date, it doesn't have those three numbers you normally get on the back where you have to validate purchases. All those details are only visible in the app. So if you lose your card, you can feel safe in the knowledge that all of that information doesn't fall into the wrong hands. If you do happen to lose the card though, much like other banks, you can freeze and unfreeze the card in the app if you need to. Now, there's a few other things to note. Chase currently aren't offering business or joint accounts, so it is only a personal account that's currently on offer. There are also withdrawal limits, so you can withdraw a maximum of up to £500 a day, whether that's in the UK or abroad. If you do happen to be abroad though, there is also a £1,500 limit on cash withdrawals from your Chase account in any particular calendar month. 
But on the topic of travel, much like other digital only banks, Chase doesn't charge any fees for using your card abroad, be that for purchases or ATM withdrawals. Plus, with the 1% cashback you're getting on spending, means it could be a very favorable card for you to use when you do travel. Now, unlike normal banks, there is currently no lending or overdraft features from Chase, but it's likely that a credit card offering is in the pipework. And what's more, investments are as well. If you currently use Nutmeg, which is a very popular investing app in the UK with around 200,000 customers, you'll be happy as Chase have announced that they'll be working on bringing your Nutmeg account closer to your Chase account. Now, this is because JP Morgan, the owner of Chase, actually bought Nutmeg in 2021. So it's likely in the not too distant future, you'll be able to see your Nutmeg account alongside your Chase accounts. Being able to see a fuller picture of your financial world in one place would definitely be handy. But with what's on offer currently, lots of people seem to be enjoying it. That's evident from Chase capturing a million customers in a year, and on the Apple App Store, the app has achieved a very strong 4.9 star rating from 82,500 reviews, and a 4.8 on the Google Play Store from just over 35,000 reviews. Its Trustpilot score isn't as strong at just a four from over 3,500 reviews, but I don't think that's too worrying. So that's what others think, and on the whole, I completely agree with them. Over the past eight months, this app and the accounts have been brilliant, but if there is one thing that I think they could be doing better, that is on their spending analysis. All of your spending is analyzed and categorized into different buckets like groceries, transport, shopping, and so on. However, for me, as it's not the only bank account that I use, and I'm often sending money between bank accounts all the time, I find that the categorization and the spending analysis of how much money Chase think I've spent in the month is wildly inaccurate. And that is a bit annoying and it does let them down a bit. So there you have it. That is Chase. I really like it. Clearly a lot of other people do. And that 1% cashback is really compelling. But it will be interesting to see how useful it really feels once those 12 months of 1% cashback finish. Personally, once I get to that point in a few months time, I'll probably take that as an opportunity to look across the market to see what the best offers and deals are at that point in time. But who knows? Chase might come out with some other offers that make it worthwhile to keep as my main spending account. We'll just have to wait and see. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to do all those things below the video that every YouTuber tells you to, and I'll see you in the next one.